Yo, 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 what is good, everybody? It's your boy, Dirty Creek Sports. We are back with the last and final stream of the day for College Hoops 2K8. Man, we just saw Fresno State and Idaho State. We just saw Washington State and Air Force. And now we got Howard and Loyola Merrill. Now, this is the last game of the day, but tomorrow for Memorial Day, we will have a plethora of games for y'all tomorrow. We have four games for y'all tomorrow. First, we'll start it off with the uh, Fresno State football team against Wyoming football team, NCAA football 14. And then, we started up with Fresno State and Portland. Then, Washington State. Well, actually, the first game will be Washington State and Mississippi Valley State. Then, it will be Fresno State and Portland. And then it'll be Howard and Navy. Oh, matter of fact, and then I'll give you Maryland and Illinois. So you'll get five games tomorrow. Nothing but sports all day. Nothing but sports talk and real life talk. Like I said, don't forget to catch the podcast tonight. If you don't catch the podcast tonight, if I don't do the podcast tonight, I'm going to just say the hell with it and do it next and do it this Sunday coming up. Because I slacked on it last night, but... I'm not going to slack on it no more. If I slack on it tonight, it's because I'm telling y'all, and it's for a reason, but I'm not going to slack off on any more. So, uh, let's get into this game right now. How with that Loyola Merle? And it's a, uh, and it looks like it's a tournament game, if I'm not mistaken. Actually, it is the Liberty Bell Classic. First game. That's see what Bo Lock can do at the at the uh the pale strip. I guess that's how you pronounce that. But okay, here we go. I love tournament games, so that's why I'ma let them get theirs in. Here we go. Okay. The game could go either way. And that's word. Game can go either way, but hopefully it goes in the in the in the way of a great contest, offensively and defensively. Let's see what these boys can do. And here we go. Howard and Loyola Maryland. The Miac versus the Metro Atlantic. Now. And I'm also sitting up here. Uh, Watching the AEW Rampage Episode 1 Universe Mode Impala vs. Mikey Gaming Shout out to the bro Check him out now I think I might do that Do an AEW jump Since I got a lot of Creative characters and shit What's your take on this Bill? The story here is a matchup at off guard but if I do do it, I'm going to do it with a whole new profile. Hopefully by the time I get you out of games tomorrow, I will have the, uh, the new software to uh, give, you, uh, give you whole screen videos. Alonzo Morning, he wins the tip. Alonzo Morning Jr. wins the tip. Lock backs in. Bo Lock, he's, he's aggressive off the, all, off the break. He must have thought someone was rotating over to block that. He can't lose concentration even for a second. That last and quiet is kept. By Darby. Loyola Merlin. Passes to the right. If I'm not mistaken. Bringing the double team. They even gave Howard or Maryland a loss throughout the preseason game. Beautiful work to fight through that foul and get to the line for the three opportunity. Curtis at the at the line. Foul shot is good for a three-point play. He makes it. Hendrick inbounds the ball. Good. 
Billy has it outright. Like I said, every game that uh, that plays, I want to see nothing but intensity, nothing but aggression, nothing but physicality. Went after that rebound hard. Great work. Backs him down. Here comes the double team. Pete Copeland. Man, he has a beautiful shot, beautiful form. Let me tell you, if he gets that shot together and uh. Start to make those, and uh, puts it up. Fouls, he went up. it's a big problem for teams in other conferences, not just the MIAC. Knocks down the first one. He makes the first one. He gets the second to and the second well. one. Number 34 inbounds the ball. Pretty dribble move. Right wing. Oh, he's trying to get him off his feet. Lock dumps it off. Lobs it down low. Here's the trap. Number 34. Curtis from 20 feet out. Jimenez yanks it down inside. Just over 13 minutes left in the half. How about the hustle of the little guys? Pulling it away from the big fellas. Dishes it to the top of the key. Takes it up. Hit it. Got fouled. And he'll have a shot at the three-point play. A superior effort to fight through the foul and put it down. Strong move, Bernard. Backs on the free throw for the three-point play. Let's check in with our sideline reporter, Tracy Wolfson, who has some info for us. So just before the game, I talked with the Greyhounds coach. He told me he's aware of the offensive reputation this opponent has, but said, as creative as they are with the ball, I think we can be just as inventive defensively, and we'll have a few surprises in store for them today. Vern? My bad, I ain't giving much commentary, but uh, I'm just sitting there watching and thinking. I'm also watching this volleyball game. Lock at the line. It's the second time at the line today already. This is the first. We're giving you three games today on the weekend, and it's already 3:13 p.m. Just look at it as college basketball and CBS Sports. And I'm going to drop a bombshell on you if you've been watching my other videos. January, you will get college, CBA, uh, college basketball on CBS Sports. Why? Because that would be the first ever NCAA basketball 10 season ever. So I'll be doing that. And uh, don't know. It was Green by Jennings. Probably doing They're football. Seven, Probably not. Five. But I know I'll be doing the college basketball. So. Billings hands it off. By yourself, by yourself. Hit me left, left. I'm open. Jimenez. Oh. Locked with nice D on that shot. Curtis, Curtis with the for rebound. rebound. Get some toughness for you. He got a man posting up on the wing. They love that wing shot. You see how they set up on the wing? Copeland has it, it seems like they set the up key. in the spots where they know they, right they, wing. they shoot it best at. Ball, ball, ball. Lock Cash. Billings pulls it in. Still a two-point lead. Billings catches it down low, pulls the trigger. The jumper was ah, good shot. Darby, Darby with the shot ties it up. A little half court trap defense, hoping it would force some turnover. Under 11 minutes left in the half. Matter of fact, no. 
My little bro DJ did said he wanted to do the fight night, so it'll be uh, it'll be college basketball and fight night. Right wing. <laughs> no, not fight night. Excuse me. Forgive me. Not fight night, but uh, college basketball. Actually, yeah, fight night champion though. Not fight night three. Fight night champion. So that'll come up in uh, January. Oh. Tommy Lee checks in for the first time of the game ball game. He was my uh, my teammate on uh, Oakland Athletics. We lost in the we lost in our first in our in our in our, in our uh, play first uh, first round playoff game. But it's cool though. Skim, we gonna come back next year and make it and make it up. I was the home run king. I led the league in home runs. He should have shot it. Lock passes back to the high post. Passes to the left. Lee. They're looking for the open shot on the wing. Swings it. Yeah, the they, wing. they found it. Curtis, Curtis with the rebound. The okay. Curtis didn't get that rebound by accident. He knew right where to be. The shot. Ah. Uh, foul. Him. But he'll go to the line for two. So, hey, we're gonna foul him. Hey, Rock, we're gonna foul him. That's what we're gonna do, eh? We got one. He makes the first. The Colts team are making a few lineup changes. Out on the floor, he didn't get much of a rest. So Curtis checks back in the ball game. Clinton inbounds the ball. Just over nine minutes left in the half. <laughs> My bad. A pass, far side, stolen by Lee. The D was really waiting for him there. That's how you do it. Keep the heat on. Wait for the misstep and then capitalize. Why didn't they take the shot? I don't know, but uh, only God knows, and only time will tell. He couldn't get it that See, time. And the Maybe, I guess so. They were looking for the easier him. shot, but uh, he still came up in. Out left. Polite him the ball. Polite shoots. Number 34. Alonzo Mourner Jr. with the with the rebound. No good. He got to Great put that in. If not. To do the dirty work, Vern. Seven O. Oh, pretty moves. Passes it to the high post. Nice little crossover to take the lead. Oh, my goodness. By and they now go up by one. There's no question what kind of defense they're in, Vern. Minimum. Lee. Sizing up his man. Beats it to the left. The polite. By polite. They now lead by one. Under eight minutes left in the half. Spread, spread it out. Yo, who's at the left side? Pop him up. McClinton dumps it off. Well, it's been a fine day today. By yourself, by I think it's time I chillax, fall Good. back, and wind down. Catches it right wing. That's why I'm not really giving too much commentary because I've been at this all day. Wow, his Four hours. game is generally solid. Because it's a uh, 3:20, and I can't believe it. Finna be 3:30. Right wing. Polite. Close out. Swings it to the left wing. Dishes left wing. 
will make some substitutions. Howard adds a defender into the mix. They really want to get tough on the defensive end. O'Hara inbounds the ball. Right around seven minutes left in the half. Jimenez. Catches it. Out left. Heinrich throws it up. Number 34 hauls it in. That's his fifth rebound in this one. He's giving it all today. He also anticipates the ball coming off the rim, depending on the angle and trajectory. Great work rebounding. Copeland bounces it to the free throw line. High post. Shoots it. The three-pointer was offline by Jennings. But they still lead by four. Passes it to the high post. Volleyball is very Just interesting. Too much contact there, Vern. You're not going to get away with it if you affect the shot that much. <laughs> my bad, my fault. Down the first one. Lock is needed out on the floor. He didn't get much of a rest. So Lock comes back in. They feel they need, that they need a ball, uh, uh, more of an offensive spark, so. Light inbounds the ball. Jennings beats it to the right wing. Yeah, we're tied. Number 34 gets it on the inside. Ah, uh, TJ Jennings. But Jennings, he gets the job done almost every time, Vern. We're talking about a fellow with onions. By yourself, by yourself. Jimenez passes back to the left wing. Dumps it off. Oh, dicey pass. Rafiq takes the shot. O'Hara muscles in and snags the offensive line. Oh. Tosses it up. The three-point attempt missed by Rafiq. Look at the big fella pull down that board. When he sees the ball go up, he isn't afraid to go after it. Last I'm up here watching the volleyball game. Just Minnesota over five Florida. minutes left in the half. And that's a good job to grab that rebound. Perfect position that time. Fishes it to the baseline. Feeney. No one around him. O'Hara gets inside and rips it down. He gets up close and personal and closes the deal. Leaves no room for error and no room for anybody to do anything about it. Scooped up by Jimenez. Oh. Intercepted. The water is good as hell. You can see him lead it all the way. The steal by Rafiq. So Howard is up to. No it's a back and forth game. Howard with 3 defense. and 1. Just because he's in tight doesn't mean you have to give Loyola up the easy Maryland. deuce. 4 and 1. The pass. Number 34. Oh, my Jesus. Good shot by Morning. Going to shake things up a little bit with some subs. Gaines inbounds the ball. Just over four minutes left in the half. McClinton catches it. Right ball. I love that defense. With great instincts, go out there and get a hand on that shot. Baseline. Watch the baseline. Jennings hands it off. Lee. Feeney so in the board. The shot, but uh, he'll get it together. Has it on the elbow? Him the shot. I saw the release. Oh. Just missed it. So no much. three point opportunity. He'll go so to the line. Physicality. They get down low and get the. 
get the bump and like acting. Too much physicality, you know. Knocks down the first one. I mean, but they'll come away, but they'll come away with the win somehow if they figure it out. Three point game. Almost the end of the first half. He gets the second to fall as well. The light inbounds the ball. They've got their defense and it's wait a minute. No, oh, TJ. Oh. Post, fires the three. Wow. Team fall by Larson. Still a two point lead. Clinton, Jimenez for the lead. Jennings corrals the miss inside. That's what a coach wants from his defenders. Stay with your best shooter and don't give him any easy looks. Gets it. Baseline. Uh. Rebounded inside by Polite. That's Polite got that rebound and ability, man. Good things happen when you keep that pressure on. So I told you that boy is trying to make his way into the uh, starting five. He's like, hold up. You're not going to leave me out. Oh, and they shut him down. Copeland. Copeland misses the jumper. But they're still up by four. The three-pointer was missed by Rafiq. They're still down eight. Keep running it. Number 34. Shoots from the post. Morning, Junior. He's got four. Game inbounds the ball. The Greyhounds are really struggling. Big five. Well, at least they got a conference to play in. Oh, the Ivy League. I didn't know that that's, that's what they conference nickname was. The Ivy League. Billy catches it on the elbow. Feet. Releases. Heinrich grabs the rebound inside. Heinrich is in a pretty okay, close they also known as the ancient right eight. And there's a danger that it's going to start to rub off on the rest of the team. It's deflected. Has it. Top of the team. I think I might do that. Take an Ivy League team to the. Uh... Okay, so. Beats it. The wing behind the arc, it's ripped down by Heinrich. Who team is that? Struggled with their three point shot. And Tracy has a report from their bench because I don't Thompson see no fools on the wants to see his here. players move more effectively without the ball so they can get better looks at the basket. He told his guys, If you get to the open spot on the floor, I know you can hit that shot. Vern, all right, Tracy. First half comes to an end with the score 22 to 16. About the happenings in the first half, Bill. I can't think of too much good to say about this game, so Bert, maybe you can do play by play and color. All right. Now we'll bring you our player of the half. Who's your pick, Bill? Jenny has been like this. This is Persia University. Bert. Must feel like he's thrown the ball in the ocean. Yeah, yeah, Pennsylvania. Shot takes, goes through. Looks absolutely unstoppable. <laughs> Tremendous effort from our player of the half. So it's just more of a basketball arena than a uh, university. Okay. Billings. Oh, so Pennsylvania half. plays Jordan there. Okay. Skips it to the right wing. Billings dumps it off. 
gets whistled for a foul. And, oh, you can't okay, go cool. the body like that. That is a textbook reach. You learn something every day. So, Pan Quakers play there. If I was to play for the Ivy League, the team I would play for catches it. Luckily, would probably nice be. From 20. Oh, the big fella with a tough rebound. No denying him on that one. That last shot, good by Copeland. Ten minutes. Fires. Can't get the three pointer to fall. Goes Columbia. Up. He got fouled and still almost made it. He'll go to the line for two shots. And he makes the first. He gets them both. McClinton inbounds the ball. My bad. I'm just sitting here chilling. Laying back. Gets it. Watching the volleyball game. Watching this game. How it is up big. And uh didn't expect him to run away like this, but uh the tide could change. Jenny takes it up. Great finish in track. By ten. Passes to the right side. Leads him with the pass. And he makes the first. Gets the second to fall as well. Number 34 inbounds the ball. They're set up in minimum. Here we go. Here we go. Backs down. Bounces it to the middle. Copeland has it. Right side. Dish. Right wing. Copeland needs to be a little bit more aggressive, man. Let me tell you that point guard play is going to get killed down there. Such a defense. Gets it. Right side. Raises up. Snatched inside by number 34. Under 13 minutes left in the second half. Oh, not real good shot selection, Bird. They've got to exercise a little patience and move the ball around. Last shot laid in by number 34. I got a taste of some curry chicken right Harvey now. Last time I ate some curry chicken and shit. I threw up. I don't know if it's because I ate that. I've been eating that shit too much lately. But uh, I threw that shit. But uh, I, I, I don't think it's because I've been eating it too much lately. But I probably it probably is because I uh, went that whole day without eating anything. I started to get lightheaded, stomach hurting like a motherfucker. And then when I did eat. I felt okay, but then again, I started to feel like stomach hurt type shit, still, still lightheaded and all them other things or whatever. And then when I went to sleep, woke back up, stomach still hurting, still lightheaded. So I just happened to roll out, try to go to the store, get me some Pepto or whatever, something to make me feel better. And as I'm in the car moving around a lot, I started to feel sick the first time going to the store. But I ain't go up. But coming back, I started to feel sick as hell. Got to the stairs as I got in the house and just threw up. And then it was like everything I ate was undigested except for the chicken. Chicken was the only thing that I digested. And the rice and the uh, cabbage was the only thing that I didn't digest. Loyola College Maryland coach may have to deal with some chemistry issues after those substitutions because that gives him a pretty inexperienced I mean lineup out, but I'm just Gaines inbounds the ball. Uh -huh. Billings 
Catches it. Right wing. That last tray, no good. What a good job on the defense to make him think about that shot. Bounce pass. Right side. Backs him down. He's doubled up. Jennings. Copeland dishes to the elbow. Puts it up. Back iron shot falls in by Locke. He's one for six for the game. Skips it to the inside. Oh, good the defense. By Locke. About ten and a half minutes left in the second half. Jenny, uh, not a good entry pass, Fern. You just can't force it in there. I mean, they're still learning. One on one. Darby hands it off. Billings with the shot. Comes up empty down low. Nine times out of ten, he makes that. A little off, but not enough to deter him the next time. Okay, I Google. Why did I vomit rice? Uncooked rice and king contains spores of takes a three. Bacillus, cerus, bacteria that can cause food poisoning. Spores can survive when rice is uncooked. If rice is left standing at room temperature, the spores can brings it up the floor. But how though? The intercept. What great reflexes. He pounced in and picked that one off easily. Billings raises up. Curtis yanks it down off the glass. They did just enough to force him to alter his shot. What solid D. Leads him in. Laid in by number 34. Well, I'm glad I'm better now. I'm going to eat you some more of that shit. <laughs> Lonzo Moore to join you. 10 points, 83%. Has it on the elbow. Billings backs him down. <laughs> My bad. Darby passes to the right side. O'Hara finishes in close. Nice look by Billings. Two assists, and he leads his like team the hell in that with that. We ain't losing. I thought that man name is Diarrhea. That says O'Hara. Left wing. Dishes it to the low block. Uh-oh. Lonzo Mourner Jr. O'Hara inbounds Again. the ball. Loyola has had serious problems with their interior defense. And Tracy has a report from their bench. The Greyhounds coach was talking to his assistants a second ago about that very problem. He said he oh, wants Loyola. to relax their defense into the game and prevent the entry pass. We'll see to if the best the pronunciation I can find. Loyola. Oh, lock. Oh, oh come on, man. That would have been your highlight. Well, he got there inside, but it looked like he was leaning with a contact with Both teams are going to make some substitutions. Tommy Lee to come in. They go with a half court trap. You should have shot it, bro. Luck gets it. Right wing. Dumps it inside. Uh -oh. Lock takes the three. O'Hara pulls it down inside. That's a great job getting a hand in the shooter's face. Any more room than that, and he'll sink it. This shot in the face by Darby. That's Almost a three-point opportunity. Third Instead, he'll go to the line for two. They come up with the foul. Gets the second to fall as well. Number 34 inbounds the ball. Tommy Lee has it. Right wing. Larson passes it to the top of the key. Curtis uses the crossover. Wow. They need to not be scared so much to take the open shot. Hey, come on, man. It's not that hard to do. Dishes it to the top of the key. 
Puts it up. Good block. The three was off target by Feeney. It's one on one. Tommy Lee, Lee with the shot. Ooh, that boy got a pretty shot. Well, let's get back to the action. 15 point game. Six minutes, six, six forty-five left. Notre Dame and Florida State play tonight, 7.30. Okay. McClinton feeds it to the high post. Darby catches it. Left wing. That last shot. Good shot. Darby Lee. with 10. Lee brings it up the floor. Passing. High post. Lock. Lock with the shot. He come back with the – oh, he got seven points. I guess he uh, – He went cold this game. McClinton passes it to the wing. That last three ball is by Gardner. Both teams are making a few lineup changes. They need to give their bench more of a chance. They need to trust their bench a little bit more because uh, – Larson inbounds the ball. Right around six minutes. If they do, the they could put up more than 40, 47 points in uh, first first two halves. Like, what's happening no with the, the, what right. it, uh, the, the with the offense? Like last game, they was the on all cylinders, like firing, like pistons. Jimenez, Rafik from the wing. It's good. If they don't do that, if they don't do that up, it's going to get real, real, real horrible. Why didn't you take the ball handle? Curtis has it on the free throw line. Hit the left iron, but missed by Copeland. They're still up by Wow. Skip pass outright. Releases from 16 feet. Might have rushed that one just a little bit. There was plenty of time on the shot clock, but he got a little over anxious. Leads him in. Larson picks it up. Oh. Jimenez snatches the rebound. You got to make those because those are the ones that count down the stretch of the game. Jimenez sinks it, but they're still behind by six. Howard is struggling on defense, and Tracy has a quick report from their bench. Coach Thompson III is not at all happy with the drought they're going through and told his assistants to find a way, any way, to turn this one around. Thanks, Tracy. Catches it. Left wing. Larson skips it to the free throw line. Polite. Polite. So he can make that. That's why you need to stick him in that uh, starting lineup. But I understand you want to go with the guy with more experience. Okay, that's cool. Dishes to the right wing. Jimenez crosses it up. Buries the triple. They narrow it to five. That's their first shot. First bucket they made within the last two minutes. Oh, backcourt. They call time, but no backcourt. I don't think these guys have played together very often. Curtis inbounds the ball. Copeland dumps it off. The crossover, number 34. With the shot, he rips down the rebound. Jimenez launches it off target. He might have been thrown off by how wide open he was. Passes to the right side. Curtis. Catches it. Baseline. That last shot can from 17. He has a great rhythm from there. It's kind of a lost start in this world of dunks and triples. Pass. High post. Jimenez lets it go. He rips down the rebound. Wow. And it's a five-point game. I look at it like this. Some days... Your defense don't do enough because the offense is too much. Some days your defense does everything because your defense did just did it. Like you can't be mad as long as you come out with the win. You learn from the mistakes that you made and you capitalize on those mistakes the next game, the game after that, the game after that, and so on, so on. This crowd is going insane. They shouldn't. They shouldn't feel bad that they that Howard shouldn't feel bad that they put up 51 points in the win. Of course they're going to score more, but 
they put up 50 points or something tonight in the win. And the other night they put up 78. That's cool, but uh, every night isn't going to be a, a, a shooting gallery. You feel me? Like we gave, we gave up, we put up 83 points today. We usually put up 93 to 96 points. It's just that their defense was, uh, they was on things that we didn't get on top of. They're just gonna stand back and try to drain the clock as much as possible. Feeds left wing, number 34. They can't do that by committing turnovers. That's giving them ammunition to, sh to fight back. Wow. They're now behind by far. Backcourt. You gotta watch where you're stepping at. Four turnovers. You have to be able to dribble with your head up or things like this happen. Heinrich inbounds the ball. That turnover is what's gonna kill them in this game if they don't win. I'd love to see that. He was looking around then pounced. I knew I wasn't tripping, even though I had the headphones on. I knew I heard the motherfucking steps. <laughs> See, I'm alert. <laughs> that comes from living in prison and on the streets all you got them lights. She wasn't home. So he just ended up coming on back. So he just ended up coming on back. Oh. I see it's all on your shirt. Oh yeah, the little splash and spill. Number 34 inbounds the ball. McClinton just picked up his third foul of the game. The foul stops the clock, which is just what the doctor ordered. And that's why they did it. Time is not on their side. Very smart play. McClinton commits the foul. From the situation in effect. Hell uh, yeah. They waiting on us. Now that we get older, we waiting on mama. <laughs> You got to hit those, bro. Like, if you do not hit those, it's going to kill you down the stretch in the season and during the goddamn postseason. Excuse my language on CBS Sports. But they say goddamn on CBS. Where'd you find a goddamn cigarette? See, look. That's more than enough basketball to come back and win it. Or even to tie it and send it into overtime. There's nothing worse than missing the front end of a one and one. Wow. You can feel the point slipping through your fingers. Well, no choice but the foul. Okay, that's an issue. You get the ball back right away. Okay, they up three. They have to make this or uh, it could be uh, overtime. Okay, four point game. So they have to shoot the three, make the three, and foul. That's the only way you're going to live. If not, you're going to die. Ah, oh, well, it's over. Didn't mean to use that analogy, but uh, they started it in the NBA. Or well, in basketball, period. You live and you die by the three. So it looks like they'll win by five. He's locked in. And that's all for this one. The Bison knock off Loyola 56 to 51. And now it's time to show you our player of the game. So the player of the game is Alonzo Morning with 14 points, 10 rebounds, a double double, two assists, one block, one steal. He played the, the defensive game well and he played it for Howard Bison very well. And they, they capped off with the win, just barely.
Let's quickly go to Greg Gumbel in the studio with the Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Hi, and welcome everyone to the 2K Sports Studios. I'm Greg Gumbel, and we're going to bring you our Pontiac Game Changing Performance. Momentum is everything in college basketball, and this game hinged on one big momentum swing. The Howard Bison exploded on a long scoring run, all triggered by this shot. Once this shot went down, they caught fire and made the game look easy. Thanks, Greg, for Tracy Wilson and Bill Raftery. This is Vern Lundquist saying thanks for joining us for College Hoops on 2K Sports. And uh, that game is done. That's the end of this stream and this broadcast. And I am out of here until tomorrow at 12 p.m. You got Fresno State Bulldogs versus the Wyoming Cowboys, NCAA Football 14. And then you got Fre then you got Washington State, Fresno State, and then Howard again. And then you got Maryland to cap it off with the night game. So, yeah, have you have you a good a good day of sports and commentary? You feel me? It's time for me to uh, catch a flight back home and uh, get my dinner. Hopefully, some of my woman too. You feel me? <laughs> play, play, play! Oh, what's for dinner? Y'all hear this shit? If you ever hear what's for dinner after you say you about to go home and get some dinner, you need to look at your woman with your two eyeballs, biggest quarters or dollar pieces, and look her back in her eyes and, uh, like, what the hell are you talking about? Like, uh, you don't want to eat too? But it's cool. <laughs> so it was a fair game for both teams. Let me tell you. Loyola, Maryland. Loyola. Not Loyola. Loyola, Maryland. Could have won it if they cup up in the first half. Because they outscored the Bison by one point in the second half. But uh, the Bison just trampled all over the Greyhounds. It looked like the Sheepdog couldn't keep the Bulls in order. Because in order to be a wolf... You got to catch a sheep. No, nah, no, nah, motherfucker. You ain't hearing me. I said in order to be a wolf, you got to catch a sheep. No, nah, motherfucker. You ain't hearing me. All right, whatever the fuck ever then. But uh, I'm going to holler at you guys tomorrow. But I got to get this too. I'll see you guys tonight at the podcast. After it's posted, you give me your thoughts and everything. And I will see you guys tomorrow at 12 p.m. With more sports from Dirty Creek Sports Network. So, uh, I'm d YG. This is the last broadcast of the uh, day. There's no more. As I walk up out that door. Uh-oh. Looks like it might be... Oh, yeah, it's still four games tomorrow, so... So it won't be Navy. Instead, they'll play whoever's right here. So it looks like how was the first... Well, how was the first game? Washington State second. I'm third, and Maryland fourth. I really want to see this game because this is going to be a motherfucking head knocker. I'm not going to tell y'all my picks. I'm going to just give it to you tomorrow. Well, tonight at the podcast. So. Peace. I'll see you when I see you.